Oh, hello, baby. Did you have a bad day? Oh, I'm sorry, sugar. Why don't you just sit down, sit down, sit down and relax. Let me just take care of you. Dr. Anne is going to have you feeling better in no time. So you're going to have the usual? Alright, perfect. Let me just get that all set up for you. I'm sorry that you had a bad day. But today is over. It is done and dusted. All that exists now is you. After a few minutes of flirting with me, I have a feeling you're going to be feeling right as rain. All right, let me set this down for you. Oh, yeah, it is a beautiful day out today. Yeah, it's been nice. I'm glad with the time change. So now when I get out of here, it's not so dark when I walk to my car. Makes it a lot better. I still have some time to like go for a walk after work. I love that. I love being outdoors. Alright. Pour a little bit of this for you. reading your palm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know it's sort of random, but I got this book on palmistry and I'd love to try it out a little on you if you don't mind. All right, great. So what's your dominant hand? Do you usually write with your right hand? Well, apparently the hand that's your dominant hand is going to show like what's happening in the here and now. And then your left hand, your passive hand, is going to be more your inherited traits. So if you have drastically different lines on your right hand versus your left hand, that's going to show someone that has tried really hard to change their basic nature. I actually have really different lines on both my hands, so that tells you a little something about me. Alright, so give me your palm. Okay, so the first line that I'm going to look at is your heart line. So that's the line that's the closest to the fingers. So your line, your heart line, is actually very, very close to your fingers, which tells me that you're a very passionate person. Is that true? I thought so. And then it kind of curves up to your index finger. Yeah, and that tells me that you're in a very affectionate person also. I like that. However, there's like a lot of little sort of like cross hatch lines that are going across to your heart line and that tells me that you have a bit of a wandering eye. That I know is true. I've seen you in action. Yeah. That could mean that, you know, you're not always the most faithful, but you just haven't met your match yet. 
I think that's what it is. So then the next line, the one in the middle, that's your headline and yours curves downward towards your wrist so that tells me that you're very creative and that you also are a very trusting person that's good and then the last line that's on the bottom the lifeline so a lot of people think that your lifeline has to do with like how long you're going to live, but that's not actually the case. Yeah, no, it's a common misconception. The lifeline actually has to do with sort of like your passion for life. So your line is very, very deep. So that tells me that you are very passionate about life and that you strive really hard to, to meet your goals. See all these interesting things I'm learning about you? Yeah, there's actually a lot more details, but you know, I'm still, I'm still learning. But no, it's been fun. I have to say, you smell really, really Scent is such an underrated turn on, don't you think? Yeah. What's your favorite scent? Oh, yes. Mm. I love that. Yeah, it's such a good smell. Mine? I don't know. I have so many. It's so hard to say. You know, I like scents that are, that are kind of layered. So I'll give you some examples. Like for instance, there used to be this trail behind my house. And there was all these like eucalyptus trees that, that ran along the trail. And after a rain, like you would smell all the damp soil. kind of musky scent of the earth, but then you would smell all the fresh eucalyptus leaves, which were so invigorating, and it was just like this nice juxtaposition between like the musky smells and then like the clean, fresh eucalyptus leaves scent, and it was such, such a good combo. And then, like, another example would be when I was in college, I was taking this creative writing class, and there was this girl that, well, the class was very early, very early in the morning. So, there was this one girl that would come in, and every single day, her hair would be wet in the morning, and, you know, you could smell, like, the scent of her shampoo, and it was so fragrant. But she was also a smoker, so you could kind of smell the cigarette smell mixed in with like the floral scent of her hair, and it just like created such a nice, nice aroma. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean by a layered scent. You know, another good layered scent. Another good layered scent is one. A very charming, seductive man comes into the bar and he smells really intoxicating, but when I lean close, I can smell like the whiskey on his breath mixed with his cologne. That's a very good scent as well. Yeah, I like that combo on you. It's very, it's very alluring. (laughs) 
Yeah, no, it's definitely quite the aphrodisiac. You know, you actually have like what looks like confetti in your hair. <gasps> oh, there was an office party. Yeah, it was the worst. No wonder you're kind of in a bad mood. <laughs> Um, do you want me to get those out for you? I mean, don't get me wrong, like, you're definitely, like, rocking the look, but I could get them out for you if you, if you don't want them in. Alright, perfect. Why don't you lean forward a little bit for me? Get those out for you. Okay, perfect. Oh, wow, well, there's, like, Actually more than I thought in there. You must have been right, right in the line of fire. <laughs> you have such, such soft hair. Yeah, it's really, really soft. It feels so nice to have someone play with your hair, doesn't it? I remember when I was in the sixth grade, we had this teacher who, at the end of every day, would read to us from a book. He read us the entire series of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, just hold still. And um, I remember there was this girl that, that sat behind me in class and Whenever he was reading to us, you know, she would sit behind me and she would just like braid my hair, just kind of play with it, and it was so, so relaxing. I would get these tingles that like started like at the top of my head, and then they would like run down my spine. Yeah, just like this tingling sensation. Have you ever had that? Like when you're so, so relaxed and you just, you know, feel this lovely sort of tingly sensation just going through your whole body. It's such, such a good feeling. Yeah, I used to always look forward to that time of day. walked into the bar right now, they would kind of wonder what's going on. I look like a little mommy gorilla or something, like picking little bugs off of you and grooming you. <laughs> all right, well, I think I almost got them all out. Let me just like smooth, smooth your hair back down. I kind of messed up that perfect hairstyle. You know, you have a really, really cute smile. <gasps> you do. I bet like all the girls in your office have, have such a crush on you. You're just being humble. No, you're, you're like the total package. You're smart. You're funny. You have depth. You're a good conversationalist. No, you are definitely, definitely the total package. You're by far one of my favorite customers. I always look forward to when you come in here. I always enjoy our little chats. I know that you've been having kind of, you know, a rough month based on, you know, some of our talks and 
I just don't ever want you to to settle for less than you deserve because you honestly deserve the best you're such an incredible person and you know if you ever forget that then you just have to come in here and let me remind you of how magnificent you are because I can't have you feeling sad No, not my favorite customer. I will not tolerate that. You know, I know that life's been a little challenging. It's been kind of challenging for us all lately, but I just kind of have to remember that expression. The dusk is deepest just before before dawn, I really think that things are about to take a turn for the better. And there's a quote from this Austrian poet that I like a lot, Rilke, and it goes something like, let everything happen to you, beauty and terror. Just keep going. No feeling is final. And I like to remember that, you know, nothing's permanent. This too shall pass. Yeah, you just have to take it all in stride. There's going to be a lot of beauty in life. And unfortunately, there's also going to be a lot of tragedy, but no feeling is final. I like that line, and I think it's important to remember. So that's my little bit of philosophy for today. What do you have planned for the rest of the night? I was curious to see that movie, actually. It got good reviews. As a matter of fact, I am getting off soon. Are you asking me on a date? <laughs> well, you know, I don't normally like to date clients or customers, but I think in your case, I'd be willing to make an exception to the rule. Yeah, you know, rules, they're made to be broken. Well, why don't you finish that drink? I only have like 15 more minutes on the clock. And then we can head out of here. It didn't turn out to be such a bad day now, did it? I told you I was going to turn that frown around. <sighs> yeah, no, you're definitely, you're smiling now. My work is done.